All right, I just hit that record button. We're finally back at it. You guys, every single one of you get an award for being patient. <laughs> I've had people write me and say, hey, when's the next video? And I've had people write me and say, hey, you know what? I hope your holidays are going well and hope everything's going good with the new building and the house. And But I haven't had anyone write me and say, hey, hurry, make a video. I'm getting impatient here. Even though I know some of you probably wanted to, I've had nothing but encouragement and wonderful things said by all of you. So I appreciate your patience. Now, hopefully it pays off. As you see behind me is the reptile room. What we're gonna do today in this video, the first video after a couple week break, is we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the reptile room and what we've gotten done. And I was wanting to have it like all complete and, but it's never gonna be complete. That's what I, I realized that a couple days ago. I was like, what am I waiting for? Just, it's about the journey. It's not about showing them a completed product. Like that doesn't matter. You guys don't care about that. And I don't need to care about that. I tend to want to, and I want it perfect, and I want everything done and flawless, but it's just, it's never gonna be done. Reptile people are, we love to rearrange things and add things and take things away and move the lighting and move these, We, it's gonna be going on forever. So let me just show you guys what I've been up to here in the reptile building. I'm gonna have a video coming out soon that's gonna show you our house in the renovations, that's actually taken up most of my time, even more so than, than the reptile building. The house is taking up a ton of my time, trying to get it done so we can move out here and be here for good. But let's get to it. Let's jump in to the reptile building tour. Another thing, I don't have my tripod, kind of lost it in the move. I do have a big one, but it's missing the piece that attaches to the camera. So, but I can't let anything else get in the way of making videos like the weather today you can probably hear it it is raining but i'm like today's the day i'm making a video today i don't care about the rain the tripod the camera whatever we're making videos so i want i'm gonna step out here in the rain and show you guys the front of this building enough of my face let's see the face of the building so here it is got our motion light up there of course not on during the day Got my best friend right there, that dolly, helped me move all the cages. Got this ramp, that came in handy. Um, let me show you all. We ran electricity underground from this breaker over there, ran it underground into the building. The breaker's on the other side of that. Got our mini split. This is the outside unit. We've got water out here, kind of covered up the pipes right now. But yeah, let's get back inside. This is the outside of the building. It's pretty. My wife picked the color. We're gonna incorporate the color of the building to the inside of the house eventually. But, let's go ahead and go inside. So, whew, it is cold out there. Let me wipe this screen off. It's cold out there, but it is nice and warm in here. So, let me show y'all. Let's start at the back. Actually, we're gonna start right here. So right here, for now, of course it's not done, but this is kind of where I do the food prep. We've got our scale, we've got the grinder, um, my Nutribullet, we've got the dry foods. I have to move out the deep freezer, it's gonna go right here. Then, in this mini fridge, uh, I need to upgrade, get something bigger, cause it's, I mean, you put one thing in it and it's full, but it's working for right now. So this is kind of the food prep section. This isn't done. I think I've mentioned it in some live streams before. This is where my desk is gonna go, computer. So I can handle all the online stuff right there. Here's the incubator. We've got some tortoise eggs in there. I need to update you guys on all that. Here's some gecko racks, some baby geckos. Okay, I actually just put this together last night. As you can see, it doesn't fit perfect, but I'm gonna make it work. Little trimming in the uh, tubs. These are just concrete mixing tubs from Lowe's, the large ones. Um, and this is kind of just a tortoise rack. So as you can see up here at the top, right there is a really nice uh, reflective fixture with a UVB bulb. Gives them perfect amount of UVB. Look at these guys just chilling. The rest are probably gonna be, yep, there they are. And then underneath each tub, Here's our beautiful 
leopard tortoise produced by my neighbor and he has some babies right now if you guys are interested you can send me a message but I mean just amazing this one's a year old and so so pretty and he, he has some right now I'm probably gonna get some more and raise them up together get a group but we'll see um, underneath each tub there's a power strip but underneath each one is a heat pad can't really see it but but yeah so here's the start of the tortoise rack we're gonna do this shelf next and then probably keep the bottom just for supplies so one more shelf that'll be six tubs for six different tortoise species and some that might be hatching out soon update video coming on that very soon okay tegu baby grow outs that's what we're looking at here as you can see we've got some setups going um we've got nine of these exoterra enclosures we've got the um mercury vapor what is it the um I'm going blank let me check I've got some backups the mega ray mega ray bulbs mounted on the inside of each enclosure actually gives me a perfect basking temp 115 ish right around there I love it it's working great um, I'm trying out this substrate to see how I like that so far so good I'm looking my goal here was to keep it simple meet all their needs first of all but then also just keep it simple um, for cleanup and care and so far this is working out that's Pedlo Jr. right there he's looking big they're growing some of them went down for brumation some of them went down because of the move you know just kind of threw them out of whack but uh, they're starting to wake up and get back into the swing of things so yeah so we've got all that now over here uh, the, we've always had this you guys remember that from the other reptile room it it works great still I've got the broken glass at the top <laughs> I need I have the new glass just need to find time and replace it and we also have another one of these another four stack that we're gonna move in here eventually but let's see this is one of the purple holdbacks you guys can see how big they're getting I think that is the male that I held back there's a couple more in there they are all waiting to be fed that's coming up next maybe I'll make a video of that got their food ready so so yeah got the shop back we've got the geckos up here the light on that side is for some reason went out I think it's the fuse so I've got to figure that out today get that back up and running um, but yeah so that's that's about it that was uh let me turn this camera around <clears throat> wasn't too bad what do you guys think I mean that that was a lot that that's a lot of work it was a lot to get everything moved in here get all the racks set up all the cages set up all new substrate everything took a lot of time and as some of you guys know I, I work full-time as well on top of all of this so sleep hasn't been my best friend lately but I couldn't be happier I mean I have no complaints this is amazing look at the lighting in here you guys it we've got four of these lights I feel like the lighting's pretty good on camera I mean, what do y'all think pretty good sorry that was cheesy but also let me show you all the sink setup this is the tankless hot water heater it is amazing watch this turn on the hot water and it heats up I believe it is set at a uh, hundred and five maybe it takes just a, I mean you guys see what was that 10 seconds and it's already about where it's at and the water comes out exactly at 105 which is perfect for soaking tortoises or anything like that and so there's no more like messing with the water trying to get it at the right temperature love it here's the AC unit I haven't had to touch it at all I have it set on 75 and it maintains the temperatures in here 100% perfect even when it's cold outside like it is today uh, it's in the 30s today and we have no problem in here it is nice and toasty I'm about to take this off because I'm getting a little warm so so yeah that thing is working great 
the animals are happy because it can be difficult to heat and cool a reptile room because you've got all the heat bulbs and everything and it can really throw it for a whack it, it can be too hot or too cold and the system won't know how to keep up or how to regulate it but zero complaints always 100 percent 75 degrees anywhere in the room even down on the ground or up high in this loft area up there which isn't complete we're gonna make that kind of a the plan is to maybe make it like a kid's hangout that is until i move animals up there and they take over eventually down the road <laughs> not really but probably you guys know how it goes you continually grow and we've got these storage that's where i keep like like you guys saw extra bulbs water dishes plates whatever just lots of stuff in there that i like to keep on hand so yeah this is the reptile room what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below um i'm super excited about it i think it looks it looks great this is a huge dream come true i've got a nice view right out the window hopefully once we move out here you know we can get it cleaned up a bit and kids will be playing out there they've enjoyed it so much because we've been here a lot lately especially over thanksgiving break because i teach and so does my wife and so we have we're on the same schedule as our kids so that's awesome so we were out here all thanksgiving break working on the house and working on this and the kids we got them a power wheel <laughs> so they've just been cruising just driving everywhere uh so so yeah it's it's been great um thank you guys so much for watching rose city reptiles video update new reptile room this now whenever i say hi i'm joey and this is rose city reptiles there's a new view new things to see and new content to make for y'all so if you're excited hit that like button on this video the more likes the better chance i have of uploading another video this week not really i'm going to upload another video this week maybe no promises so next video i'm going to make is i believe the next video or the one af after that probably the next one is going to be a tour of the house we've been ripping down walls it, it, we're completely gutting the entire thing well we're kind of separating it into two projects but i'll talk about that later and I'll show you guys that. Some of you are interested in it. So, um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching another Rose City Reptiles video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for sticking around and showing your support for Rose City Reptiles and the things that we're doing. I have big plans for the future, and I plan on expanding and doing so much more. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.